hello clickers. My name is Maria Shandorova and I'm responsible for product development at Infinity. In this Tech Tuesday video, I will show you how to set up and use one of the coolest feature of our latest release of Infinity Forms, and that's uploading files directly to your ClickSense application. It's really simple. <laughs> New field type, upload file, can be added the same way as any other field. So I will open the edit mode, go to properties panel, form configuration, and click on add new field. Let's say I want to add um, content plan to my marketing campaigns that are listed in uh, this application. I fill the column name, label, and now I select the type, upload. You can see it's already here, but it will not be working because you need to fill also upload form instance ID. This attribute is answer to your question, uh, how can I manage where to save these files? Since it's form instance ID, let's open forms admin application. Forms admin application is automatically uploaded to my work section of the user who installed forms. It is the way how everything about forms can be managed by yourself. On this first sheet of this application, you can find important information about your um, license, computer ID, um, user limit, and so on. What's important when it comes to files upload is uh, this information, forms data path, and uh, it is the path you set during the installation where forms data storage should be created by default. It means where XML files will be created for storing data by using Infinity Forms. The same logic is used also for uploading files. So if we have here uh, C slash forms data, we can now open forms configuration sheet that's responsible for managing form instances and create the one for uploading data. My form instance ID will be called files marketing. And here in the third field, I'm about to define where these files will be uploaded. As I mentioned, it starts with C slash forms data. So let's create a subfolder there that will be called marketing. And since I am using here groups for managing access, I will give access to it um, to everyone. Let's copy this form instance ID because I will need it. Click on save and what's very important and you should never forget when you want to apply your settings it's um, click on this button update form settings let's come back to my app refresh it and open again the form configuration section, content plan, my new field, and paste here files, marketing, form instance ID. Let's try it. I have something here on the desktop. Open, save. We can also change uh, width of this column. And here it is. Once I click on it, it's downloaded. If it is something that can be by default open in your browser, it will be open in your browser like PDF. Technically, you can see there is a new folder, marketing, within my C forms data path. 
and here is the content plan I have uploaded. When the file is uploaded, it will have a new automatically generated prefix, but if you want to use the name of origin file, you can simply use a subfield by using this character because the structure uh, of the string will always be the same. I really hope you find it useful and can't wait to your ideas how to use it. Thank you for watching this video and in the next one I will share some tips and tricks with you how to use field validation rules like this in a budget field. Until then, enjoy forms!